Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel and this is one of my dogs, Bo. <laughs> we are keeping things short and sweet today. We're gonna focus on our shoulders. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat. If you do want to sit up on a cushion or a block of some kind, feel free to do so. But we're going to reach our right arm up into the air and then just bring your hands to the top of your shoulders, your hands, your hand, and grab onto your elbow. Take a nice big inhale, lengthen through your spine, and you might stay here like this with your right hand or fingertips touching the top of your shoulders or you might actually grab on to your other elbow as well. And then see if you can just encourage your forearms or your elbow back towards whatever's behind you. So take an inhale, sit tall, soften your shoulders from your ears, relax your jaw. You might feel this through one shoulder, you might feel this through both shoulders, just breathe. Awesome, you guys. With an inhale, just let go. Let go of one elbow or both elbows. Let your hands just fall to your sides. Maybe take a little shoulder roll, and then you can start to reach your left arm up. Switch sides. Grab your elbow to start. Take an inhale, lengthen. Maybe you want to stay here, or maybe you want to grab your elbow, your other elbow, so you have both of them. And then I kind of mean like if you were going to bring your forearms in front of you and then send them back behind your head or above your head, just try to kind of bring your head through that hole that your arms are making. The further you encourage the elbows back, the more you might feel this, but be gentle. Sit tall, nice long spine. Nice job, you guys. With an inhale, let go. <laughs> let your arms fall back to your sides, maybe. Add in a shoulder roll. We're just going to let our chin fall down towards the collarbone. As you inhale, roll your head over to the right shoulder. And exhale, drop it back down. <sighs> inhale, roll your head to the left. And exhale, let it go. Nice, you guys. With an inhale, lift your head back up. Awesome job. Let's move onto our hands and our knees. Setting up tabletop. <clears throat> so keeping our hips high, stacking above our knees, we're going to reach our arms out in front. So spread your fingers wide, kind of push into your palms a little bit, and then let your chest start to get heavy. Let it come as low to the floor as you can, keeping your hips high. Maybe your forehead comes all the way down. Maybe your chin can touch down. But we're going to use an inhale just to lift up a little bit. And an exhale to melt it back down. <sighs> Maybe you can go a little further. Soften your shoulders. Take a breath at the bottom. <sighs> use an inhale. Lift the chest just a little. Release that so shoulder stretch. And exhale. Brings you back down into your puppy dog. <sighs> Nice job, you guys. Using an inhale, slowly start to lift the chest. Walk your hands in under your shoulders. If you need to take your hips for a little rock side to side, definitely do that. But we're going to start to bring our knees together and have a seat on our heels. So you can actually sit on your heels here or you can stand on your knees. If you want some extra cushion, just roll your mat over. But hands to the hips. Maybe interlace the hands behind you, or maybe grab your elbows again. <laughs> grab your elbows, except now they are behind us, or maybe it's more like you're grabbing onto your forearms. But just take an inhale and start to lift your chest. Shift your gaze up above you. As you lift the chest, see what happens when you try to kind of roll the shoulders back and down. A little bit of a back bend, but I want you to feel the chest and the shoulders. Nice, you guys. Just gently encouraging the shoulders back and down. Awesome job. Use an inhale. Relax your shoulders. Kind of bring them forwards. Take a seat on your heels or you can stay standing on your knees, but just let go. 
Maybe you need, you need a little shoulder roll, a little shake of the arms, and we're gonna come back. But see this time if maybe you can cross your arms the other way, or if you're interlacing your fingers, cross them the other way or interlace them the other way. Or maybe your hands are coming back to your hips. You can stay seated on the heels, you can stand on the knees. Inhale, lift the chest, think about the shoulders. Just a very small back bend. We're trying to pull those shoulders back and down. If your hands are on your hips, your elbows are kind of going out behind you, just gently encourage them together. Maybe look up a little higher, maybe not. Nice, you guys, use the inhale, relax your shoulders, and an exhale to sit down and release your arms. Roll your shoulders back and down. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna come back onto our tabletop, our hands and knees. And you can reach your right arm out in front and slide your left arm underneath your chest. Drop it down, try to get that left shoulder all the way to the floor. Rest your cheek. Slow down your breath. Awesome, you guys, use an inhale, lift your shoulder, reach your left arm out in front. We can take the right arm, slide it under the chest, tuck it all the way under, and then drop it down. Awesome job, you guys. Use an inhale, slowly lift on up. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. Maybe you need a bit of a shoulder roll. And then you can have a seat, just cross your ankles. We'll bring our legs out in front, actually. I will stay facing this way. <laughs> Bending the knees, planting the feet. You can bring your feet mat width apart, maybe even a little bit wider. But we're gonna do our lovely chicken wing stretch. So if you've got nice, tight shoulders today, you can just bring your elbows between your knees, rest your hands on your shoulders, and you might already feel that. If you wanna come a little bit further, you can bring the top of your hand to your oblique and then tuck your elbow in and you should hopefully feel that nice rotation and stretch for that shoulder. You can do one hand. You can do both hands. So the top of the hands resting on the obliques or palms are facing out and the elbows are tucking between the knee. Soften your shoulders. If you need a little more, you just encourage your knees towards one another. Maybe let your head get heavier. And find your breath. Awesome work, you guys. If you're lucky, you're going to feel this all the way into the upper back. And if you are doing one arm right now, you can switch sides. If you're doing both... Stay, maybe breathe just a little deeper. Hmm. A few more breaths here, you guys. Make any adjustments you need. Or just breathe a little deeper. Really softening on the exhales. Maybe feeling the stretch a little more on the inhale. Awesome job, you guys. Very slow. Just let your knees kind of fall out to the side so you can bring your elbows out. <laughs> Walk your knees together. Take a couple shoulder rolls, shoulder wiggles. Shake it out a little bit. And then we can find a nice comfy seat. Ah, awesome job, you guys. Ooh, I needed that very much. <laughs> 
That is all that I have for you today though. It was short, it was sweet. I hope that you enjoyed it. And until next time, namaste.